Welcome to The Right Stuff from Goldspot Pens, a podcast that guides you from pen noob to aficionado in less than 20 minutes. I'm your host, Tom Otto. In this episode, we'll take a look at the top five pens of December 2023 and recap the year that was in the world of fine writing. Hang out until the end and I'll give away something on my desk. It's the end of the year 2023. According to many science fiction authors, we should have flying cars, people living on the moon, and many apocalyptic ends for mankind by now. Prognosticating writers also couldn't have predicted that fountain pens are still beloved by many people around the world. How many people, you ask? Well, enough to keep the gold spot pen shop going strong for another year. Our following grew tremendously on YouTube in 2023. We added 55.3 thousand new subscribers, which is more than double our audience going into the year. You watched our pen videos 23.7 million times and honored us with over 800,000 likes. Out of 6,700 comments, there have been great questions to answer in this video podcast, including the one I will address after sharing December's top five list. First, a quick disclaimer. These top five pens are based on sales, likes, comments, and customer reviews on goldspot.com during December 2023. This isn't my personal top five list or greatest of all time list. It's a list created by you, the fine people of the online pen community. Starting this month's list at number five is a luxurious upgrade to the quintessential pocket fountain pen. The Kaveco Sport is already available in so many materials, aluminum, brass, ebonite, stainless steel, and so on. With the new Art Sport Collection, Kaveco makes a classic pen with vintage-inspired marbled acrylic. Unlike the injection-molded resin of the classic Sport and Skyline Sport, Kaveco crafts the Art Sport from solid rod of acrylic. Also, the Art Sport has a built-in Art Deco style clip, whereas most other sports come clipless. When it comes to the nib and filling system, the Art Sport still uses the same number five size stainless steel nib and international cartridge filling mechanism as other sport fountain pens. This one comes with one blue cartridge to start. While the standard injection molded resin sport pens go for about $28 to $30, the acrylic sport pens are $125. Currently, there are four different materials in the Kaveco Art Sport collection. You have Terrazzo and Hickory Brown, both with gold trim. And you have Pebble Blue and Mineral White with silver trim. Despite the higher price point than most sport fountain pens, our pen pals were quick to pocket the fifth most popular pen of December 2023. Sliding from November's top spot to number four is this festive, shimmering, tis the season rollerball pen. A gold spot exclusive collaboration with Tim McKenzie and Retro 51, this twist action rollerball pen is made using Tim's legendary diamond cast material. We work closely with Tim to get just the right shade of deep burgundy and shimmering gold. To showcase the glistening gold highlights of the resin, Retro accented this pen with polished brass appointments, clip, and knurled twist top. To top it all off, an illustration of Holly adorns the top disc. Tis the Season is limited to 364 numbered pens, with each pen's unique number engraved on the top ring. 364 is the total number of gifts given in the song 12 Days of Christmas. Each pen is packaged in a matching commemorative tube. Only 95 pens are left of this elegant glittering rollerball at $79 per pen, only at Gold Spot. Now here's an unusual pen you won't see every day. At number three is a pen that packs a punch in the Narwhal Nautilus Mantis Shrimp Fountain Pen. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, the Mantis Shrimp holds the title for the most powerful punch in the animal kingdom. Its lethal, club-like front legs can accelerate to the speed of a 22 caliber bullet, cracking the shells of other mollusks, crabs, and the like. While you can't use the Narwhal Nautilus Mantis Shrimp as a lobster cracker, this fountain pen is mighty and capable of many great things. Once you put the nib to paper, you can knock out to-do lists, break through to the subconscious, and lose yourself in the writing flow. To capture the colorful peacock-like carapace of the Mantis Shrimp, we worked with Elise from Starry Night Resins in Texas to cast a swirling mix of resin in blue, purple, green, copper, and pearl white. To accentuate the crustacean's color even more, Narwhal clad the metal trims and nib in green PVD finish. At the time of this recording, about 100 of the 150 individually numbered fountain pens are available. You can find the third most popular pen on the Goldspot website for $160. I'd also like to give an honorable mention to another successful Narwhal pen that sold well this month. The Christmas 2023 limited edition would be a treat to find under your tree, all wrapped up in its commemorative box. 
In second place is a pen that has evergreen appeal. The Pelican Souverain 800 Green Demonstrator found its way into the collections of many writing enthusiasts this month thanks to a little help from our weekly dip special. Pelican polishes this leafy green resin for crystal clear transparency. See the piston mechanism operate as you draw up the ink into the pen's body. To top it all off, Pelican fits a beautiful bicolor 18 karat gold nib on this elegant fountain pen. In Pelican's history of special edition pens, it was the Transparent Green Collector's Edition in 1992 that sparked the company's yearly offering of limited production pens. In the 2023 Green Demonstrator, Pelican revisits this 30-year-old pen design and updates it with some modern accents. Now, originally, this grail-worthy fountain pen lists for $880. On our weekly dip special, this Pelican flew off the shelves at 50% off or $440. In my opinion, I wish all Pelicans were priced this affordably, as the writing experience should not be missed by any pen enthusiasts. You can still find the second most popular pen of December 2023, the Pelican M800 Green Demo, on Goldspot Pens. Santa was excellent to us this year. Not only did we ship the Retro 51 Tis the Season Rollerball, but we were also treated to the Marion Wright Rollerball Pen, our number one pen of December 2023. And here's why Retro 51's Marion Wright made Santa's nice list. First of all, Retro 51 collaborated with the design house Invisible Creature to imagine Santa's reindeer-powered flight. Only 1,225 numbered pens were made in this collection. As with any Retro 51 Tornado pen, this pen's twist action retraction mechanism pops in and out quicker than Santa delivering gifts on Christmas Eve. The taper body of the Retro 51 Rollerball has a well-balanced feel with a solid weight in hand. This Jolly Jotter is fun, whimsical, and has a touch of nostalgic charm, bringing warmth and delight to the page. The capless Rollerball writes with a rich liquid flow equivalent to a medium or broad nib fountain pen. Now, since this is a popper limited edition, these tend to be highly collectible and go up way up in value in the second day of your market. So if you miss out on buying the Marion right now, you might have to pay double the cost sometime later when it all sells out at the retail level. At the time of this recording, Goldspot has less than 50 Marion Wright pens. Collect the most popular pen of December 2023 for $64 before it disappears. There you have it, folks, your top five pens of December 2023. To recap, we have the Caveco Art Sport Fountain Pen at number five. At number four, the Retro 51 Tis the Season Rollerball. At number three, the Narwhal Nautilus Mantis Shrimp Fountain Pen. At number two, the Pelican Souverain M800 Green Demo Fountain Pen. And at number one, the Retro 51 Tornado Marion Wright Rollerball Pen. All right, now that we revealed December's top five pens, let's answer the question of the week, which comes from Raccoon Laundry. Raccoon Laundry asks, if you could make a Franken pen using individual features from all of your favorite pens, what might it look like? I really enjoyed the description of your Franken pen. It helped me spur my imagination into coming up with this fountain pen fusion. To start, we're going to take the streamlined body design of the Lamy 2000 with its near perfection in balance and utility. Instead of the fiberglass resin combination, I'd make the 2000 out of vibrant, colorful celluloid. But the rest of the details about the pen, the piston mechanism, the hinged spring-loaded clip, and the snap cap, let's keep those parts. But for the nib, instead of the Lamy 14 karat gold nib, which is a great writer, don't get me wrong, I love it. It's very smooth, it's buttery smooth, I love this nib, but let's take it up a notch and add the 14 karat gold Scribo, feel the flex nib, and then on top of that, instead of just making it rhodium to match it. Let's add a bicolor design similar to what you would see on a Pelican uh, Souverain 800 type of nib. Then this ink window is kind of lacking. So let's put in a more transparent ink window like the Leonardo Memento Magico. And then for the cherry on top, let's have one of Namiki's Arushi artisans decorate the finials with rotten. Now, my imagination might have ran away with me a little bit on this idea, but if you're going to dream, dream big. So congrats go to Raccoon Laundry for being picked as the question of the week. You've won the Retro 51 Tis the Season prototype pen I mentioned in last week's episode. You can email me at tomatgoldspot.com to claim your prize. For this week's giveaway, I have a Magna Carta Mag 600 fountain pen with a 14 karat gold flex nib that was a sample tester piece. It's user grade, so the resin has some wear on it, but the flex nib is very, very nice. 
So to be considered for a chance to win this pen, you must be subscribed to the Goldspot Pens channel, like this video, and leave a comment with a question you'd like for me to answer in a future episode. If I answer your question of the week, you win. If you'd like to see me write with the pens mentioned in this week's episode, you can check out Goldspot Pens YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, and TikToks for writing samples. Thank you for checking out this week's episode of the Write Stuff Podcast by Goldspot Pens. Now, go out there, put your pen to paper, and write stuff. Until next time, stay inky, my friends. Take care.